Hey guys, today I'm so excited to unbox this new small and powerful Deco Mini 7 wireless. This is a new product from XP Pen and the price is $59.9. First of all, thanks to Han, he's a good friend of mine that sent me this product for review. And XP Pen has a 15 years of history making great quality graphic tablet and popular across worldwide. Here's the box, it is small and light. The packaging looks simple. Let's flip over the box and look at the specs of the tablet. It has a 10 times 6.3 inches of active drawing area and it has a wireless connectivity, tilt function and 8 customizable shortcut buttons on the board. Other than that, our pen is battery free. It has up to 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity, a resolution of 5k lines per inch and about 220 response rate with 10mm reading height. When your pen gets close, it detects even without touching it. It has a 1000 mAh of lithium battery and charging time just 2 hours and you can use it up to 10 hours and supports Mac, Windows and Android. Let's unbox this little guy here. Alright, a standard warranty card here and some standard installation instruction manual. Let's take the tablet out and you can see that it has a nice plastic cover to protect it. I like this XP Pen mouse mascot, it gives you the look and feeling of let's paint some great art, shall we? It has that nice black plastic material at the back with tiny little holes texture. And at the front, there is another protective plastic. You need to remove it before you can use it. But let's keep it first for now. We will remove the plastic later. So at the back of the tablet, there are four anti-slip rubber at these four corners so it stays firm on the table while you're drawing. Let's see what else is inside this box. There is another pack of stuff inside. Thank you card and thanks XP Pen. And a quick guide note, there's a leaflet here printed separately to show you how to use it with Android. You need to connect to the cable and you can use it wirelessly on Android devices. And all the pages tells you the same thing but just in different languages. And there's another small booklet, a quick guidebook that tells you all the other stuff that you need to know about a tablet. Let's look at this pack here and see what else do we have. A standard USB Type-C to USB Type-A from tablet to PC when you wish to charge. And there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 extra pen nibs inside. Usually, there are 10 in most other tablets, but this is different. Maybe the machines just went too fast and put one extra in there. Alright. And we have that OTG connector for Android. Two types of adap adapter. One is the USB Type-C and another one is the micro USB.
And this tiny little hit is the wireless receiver that you need to plug into your PC so that you can use the tablet wirelessly. It's pretty small and light and you don't lose it. Keep it nicely. I'm not too sure whether you can repurchase just the receiver if you lost it. Next, the battery free pen stylus. It is the same with my other Deco series tablet. All right. Two programmable buttons and a nice rubber on the grip area and logo printed at the back. And lastly, the ring nip remover. Let's try to remove and see if it is easy to remove. Just clip it with the hole there and pull it. Yeah, nice and easy. Here's all the items we have in the box. No glove, no case. If you need it, you can purchase online down in the description below. And let's try to remove the plastic cover and try to touch with the pen and see how does it feel on the surface. And I try clicking those buttons and it sounds and feels pretty okay. Same build quality with the Deco 01 V2. And you can see here, compared to my hand, it is even smaller. And if we compare to the pen size, the height is about the same with the pen. And when we draw here, that's the sound it produces. Next, before you can use it, of course you need to plug the wireless receiver to your PC. And try to turn on the button by clicking here. Hold it till it shows the blue light. If it doesn't show any light, that means you need to charge it. And to charge, just connect the provided cable, the USB Type-C to your tablet, and the USB-A to your PC. and it will show the light here in red color. That means it is charging. And after charge, hold the on button. Then there you go, blue light appears. Then you need to search XP Pen website from Google and go into the main page and choose support and driver and choose our graphic tablet model which is the Deco Mini 7W. And if you are using a Mac machine, choose the Mac version of installer. And if you are using the PC Windows, choose the Windows installer. After you install, you can search for the application name Pan Tablet and the icon with a brush. You can customize other functions to those but two buttons on the pen. The left click, right click, middle click, eraser, and etc. You can also choose which monitor screen you want to map to. And over here, you can drag to manually set the mapping of your table to the screen. And clicking the pressure area there allows you to test the pressure sensitivity level. And you can even adjust the curve to the likeness of your own drawing behavior. At the bottom right settings shows you all those eight customizable button keys on your tablet. And you can set to any shortcuts that you use often for different application softwares. Let's proceed to run some tests with design softwares like Photoshop. So normally, I will test with horizontal strokes, straight lines, and diagonal lines and see if it has any latency or lag problems. If it has, the line will crook. 
And I will also try with spiral lines to see how smooth the curve goes. And I will also draw long curvy lines to test out the pressure sensitivity. It seems good. And now I will just do some quick test catch of a simple environment. So far so good. I'm happy with the performance in Photoshop. Next, I will proceed with the test in Clip Studio Paint. So let me just draw some characters and see how it feels. No lack issues so far. Even though it is connected wirelessly, from the performance, I think the connections are really good and it won't get disconnected nor give you any issues. After that, I'm proceeding to test with Microsoft Word now. I can use this Deco Mini 7W to write notes while having classes, take important notes during meetings, even drawing is great inside Microsoft Word, which means you can also sketch a quick diagram, pie chart, or illustrate during presentations. Next, let's test out the tilt function to see if it works like how it is advertised. I use the ink brush to test it. When I tilt it down, the brush icon will become longer and it detects the angle where I bent. It works great. And we proceed with testing it on Android. I'm using the Autodesk sketchbook to test and I'm using a portrait vertical layout canvas and also rotating my graphic tablet vertical too and the XP Pen logo is at the bottom when you plug in the cables it asks you to allow permission and need to turn on the OTG function before it can function nicely oh my god what did I just saw it has the pressure sensitivity detection even though we are drawing on Android. That is unbelievable. There are thickness variations when I press harder or lighter. It does sync with the board nicely, both on vertical orientation. And finally, I'm able to draw something on Android devices without problems that I previously have, which the mappings are not correct. And you can't even draw a simple circle. And I can even write words like how I usually connect it to a PC. The small size graphic table works great with Android devices. Here comes the conclusion. This is the mini piece of graphic table with full features. It is affordable at the price of $59.9. It is light and portable. It has up to 8K of pressure sensitivity levels. And with the quick response rate up to 220. Not only that, it has a tilt function. Can you believe that? Such an affordable budget tablet has a tilt function. And it is the only tablet that I think it works best on Android devices. And lastly, the best feature of all wireless so is it a worthy product to purchase yes definitely so let me know what you think about this tablet whether it is suitable for you let me know down here under the comment section below if you like my videos and hope to see more videos like this in the future please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and also turn on the bell notification button so you won't miss any upcoming contents Thanks, and until then, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.